everyone. Welcome back to Naomi's Bookshelf. I am in my new condo. There are these are my new two new bookshelves. I'm very happy with them. I think they're gorgeous. They are still a work in progress, but I like the way these shelves look at least. So please let me know if you'd like me to do a bookshelf tour down below. I am seriously contemplating it. I have a lot of books, so I'm not sure how long that video would be. Anyways, we are here to do the reading rush, the stay at home reading rush, TBR and tag. I saw this thing and I was really excited about it. A lot of the books I was already reading this month kind of fit in and it's just something else to like join together as a community and really support each other while staying at home. Now I am still working every other day so I am not home all the time but I am trying my best to be self-isolating along with everyone else. So we are just gonna go into the questions of the tag and then from there I will be giving you my TBR. So the first question is, how has your reading been going while you're at home? Uh, honestly, not good. I have been really struggling with a lot of health stuff lately. This seasonal change has not been fun. It's been very difficult for my head. Also along with that, um, moving took up a lot of time and you know, the, the ideal plans of listening to audiobooks while moving just didn't happen. So I definitely wish I could get more reading in, but I am excited now that we are settled. I'm able to hopefully get a lot more done. The next question is, where have you been reading at home? Honestly, I was mostly reading on the couch uh, while I've been isolated um, or isolating. <laughs> Otherwise, I have been listening to audiobooks. Uh, like I've been going on a lot of walks lately and so I've been listening to audiobooks that way. Uh, not too much, but I have been enjoying it while I can. I am excited to find a new place in this new condo to find my, as my reading nook. So the next question is, what's the best book that you've read during isolation? Uh, that is an interesting question because I haven't, I think I've read three books so far in April. And I know isolation started in March, uh, but I'm thinking only of April and I have read three books, two of which were disappointing. So the best book that I read was Funny You Don't Look Autistic by Michael McCready, I wanna say is his last name. He's like 22 and he wrote this memoir about being autistic, he's a comedian, um, and it's just really re recounting his life's adventures and <laughs> how he views the world through autism. So it was a very interesting read, very enlightening, and I highly recommend it. I read the audio, I uh, read the audiobook, I read the ebook, but the audiobook I've heard was fantastic too. The next question is, what is your favorite feel-good book? I have to say that if I'm ever in a real slumpy mood, the best author for me to pick up is Lori Wick. And of Lori Wick's books, Every Storm is by far my favorite go-to easy read. I love all of her books though, especially her independent ones, Sophie's Heart, Pretense, they're all great. I love them. They just are such like, they feel like going home and they're just so cozy and easy to read. So that's by far my easiest go-to happy feeling book. The next question is what book do you wish you could buy or get from your library? My library is closed. We do have the online library right now. However, I don't really know of a title that I really, really want. Um, I just, <laughs> I feel like I've bought a few books. My local, a couple of my local bookstores were still open last I checked and I was able to like curbside delivery kind of situation. So I was able to pick up a couple books, but there's none that I desperately want to read or buy that I have not, I don't have not acquired. Uh, so the answer is none at the moment because I have a lot of books and I don't really need any more. I also haven't been able to think about books too much lately. So the next question is, an author that you want to shout out during this time. And I am going to shout out Natalie Walters. I made a series review of her debut series, her first three novels that she's published. Um, and I loved them. I highly recommend them. I will link it down uh, up in the cards. But I think that she's a great, suspenseful, Christian, clean writer. And I highly, highly recommend it. Please check out her books. Please buy them, support them, support her. Uh, along with all local authors that you are very passionate about. So the next question is the TBR. Now this is, what is your Reading Rush TBR essentially, or what do you wanna read? Uh, I have chosen some books that are already on my TBR for April. I'm really wanting to get them done that weekend. The eight weekend is the 16th to the 19th, so it's a Thursday to a Sunday. So I am very excited to get to these books, hopefully push me to get back into reading as moving kicked me out of it. <laughs> um, with the first, prompt that I am fulfilling is uh, 
the prompt of somewhere you wish you could go. And I'm gonna pick up Swiss Family Robinson for this. Uh, this is one of the books I am reading for the Owl's Magical Readathon that has a beak on the cover. There's a flamingo, not a flamingo, a uh, emu. I think. Anyways, there's also a flamingo down here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be my place I want to go. I mean, a desert island. I mean, once it has people coming, that'd be nice. The next prompt is a book that should make you smile. And I am going to be trying to read Daughter of Rome by Tessa Afshar. This is part of the Biblical Fiction Book Club or B Biblical Fiction Buffs Book Club on Goodreads and on YouTube. Um, Jenna Van Murek. Uh, hosts it and she's picked we've picked this book for the next one we're discussing it at the end of May and I'd like to get to it if I have a chance if this was not on my April TBR but I'm really just in the mood for something another book is um, a book that has a home on the cover and or a house on the cover and so I will be doing my Highland Calls there's a house right here and this is the sequel to Highland Legacy, which I have been meaning to read. I've been meaning to read this one for a long time and I am pushing myself to read it this month. Um, I am gonna read it at night as it is for my astronomy owl to read a book at night. Next one is a book in the same location at the exact, uh, for the whole time you're reading it. So I've chosen an easy one. Um, things are a bit loose here. One second. So as I was saying, the uh, next one is a book, reading a book in the exact same location for the whole time. I will be reading The Betrayers as it is a short one. I'm not sure how long I'll be sitting in the same location. I am doing a lot of my reading out and about, uh, whether it be going at work and on my lunch break or on walks. So I'm gonna pick up this one, it is short. I don't know anything about it. This is a contemporary and it is for um, the perspective of a muggle. So the, the muggle studies class in owls. So I'll be excited to get that one done. I have two more books, which I would like to get done. And I know this is kind of insane for a four day readathon, but I would like to push myself. So the first one is a, one that I am not sure I'm gonna get done. I'm gonna do my best. And that is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is my big classic that I'm reading this month. I do a series where I read giant classics that are over 500 pages, and this is my current read. And I will have a review up for it by the end of April, no matter what, so I'd like to get this done. If this copy itself is just under 500 pages, but I do know there are copies out there with bigger, so it is a big read. I'm excited to get to it, but I am also a little, a little scared maybe of the hype I've made up in my mind because I know it's just so wonderful. So yeah, this is what I'd like to get to. And the last one that I would like to get to is Rose in Bloom by Louisa May Alcott. So this is my sixth book that I'm putting on this TBR. This one also will make me smile. So if I don't get to Daughter of Rome, I will definitely get to Rose in Bloom. Uh, this one follows Rose in the duology of eight cousins where she and her seven boy cousins get up to some crazy adventures in the first one. So this one will be for the Louisa May 2020 read along that's hosted by Kate Howe and Megan Hannett. And it will be a lot of fun to finally get back into Louisa May Alcott. I'm really enjoying her books. So those are the six books that I plan to read uh, for this four day readathon. I don't know how well I'll do. I can see North and South being by far the least likely, <laughs> but I'm gonna do my best. Please let me know down know down in the comments about your participation in the readathon. If you're going to be joining in, or if you are excited for certain books that are, you know, on your shelves because bookstores are closed. Also, if you would like to subscribe, please do and like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time with another video. Bye for now.